Bonjour à tous! Hey everybody! So today I did nothing really special other than homework and eat lunch. And um, yeah, that, that's kind of boring. So we're not going to talk about that. Instead, can you just look at this shirt? I love this shirt. I love this shirt. And I got it from a Secret Santa in uh, my sorority. We did a Secret Santa thing and they gave me this shirt this awesome sketchbook which has like the globe on it but it has the words in latin and it makes me so happy like it look at this look at this all of them are in latin i need to find where yeah you'll be able to see this one see he's so cool i love it i love it i love it and yeah i do sketchy stuff in it that i'm not going to show you because my sketching is kind of not mm, let's just not <laughs> And that was awesome. I miss my sorority. I do. And it's not like a Greek sorority, which is awkward because people, you say sorority in America and people think, oh, another blonde in a sorority. Yeah, great, great. My sorority is not Greek affiliated. <laughs> so let's just clarify that right now. <laughs> not Greek affiliated and it's a religious sorority so yeah it's not we don't go out drinking and we don't do whatever formal or whatever they call it i'm not really a big fan of wearing dresses so i wouldn't know <laughs> we don't do that <laughs> we do a lot of volunteer stuff and we hang out and try to work through what the heck is this world we live in, how do we adjust to it, what the heck is... We basically attempt to help each other with our existential crises. That, that's, that's what we do. <laughs> oh man. But yeah. And I miss my big a lot. She's so great. Ah! She's amazing. For, um big little week when I didn't know it was her uh basically what happened was we would get gifts from our bigs throughout the week and she gave me the best gifts ever like she would number one she gave me root beer but put a new label on it that said butterbeer on it because we both love Harry Potter and then with that she gave me a bag of snitches which were actually caramel Linda chocolates but she took the candies out of the bag and put like little snitch wings on them it was so cool it was so cool and she gave me one of my favorite notebooks ever it's um it has a pun on it so of course I love it and basically <laughs> it says it's owl good and it's covered with owls I like owls which is <laughs> it's one of my favorite animals they're so cool they can rotate their heads at all 360 it's fun I, I like owls I like their symbolism they're fun I like owls and my favorite animal is actually a seahorse but it's really hard to find seahorse themed things so she got me an owl themed thing because that worked and I actually use that notebook for um, a story I'm writing and yeah it's a great notebook I love it so much it's great and um, basically we just kind of connected instantly which is amazing uh, if I hadn't gone into the sorority type thing I wouldn't have met all of these girls who are so awesome and it's funny because I'm just not a sorority person. Let, let's let just do a, a list that I probably won't put on the screen because I can't edit. Uh, number one, introverted. Number two, I'm not social. Introverts can be social. I happen to not be social. Number three, socially awkward. Socially awkward people don't join sororities. <laughs> <laughs> they stay at home and watch Netflix, and I do that a lot, but <laughs> I also like grabbing lunch with my sisters, which is great. And then <laughs> I don't like 
drinking necessarily. And people have this sorority culture of going out drinking. I don't really drink all that often. And when I do, it's usually red wine and I have like two glasses and I'm done. I don't, I don't do the whole drinking game thing with like hard alcohol that seems to be the stereotype. I don't, I'm, no. Mm -mm. No. I'm the one who pretends the water in their bottle is vodka and attempts to get away that way. If I ever go to a party where there's hard drinking. Which I don't. But if I did, that'd be what I'd do. <laughs> Literally, I would take this bottle, fill it up with water, and then people say, Oh, what are you drinking? I'd be like, vodka. And they would be like, oh, good for you. And move on. And then I don't get pressured, because social pressure is the weight of the sky, and I don't feel like being Atlas. So, fake it till you make it. <laughs> but, yeah. I joined... It's funny how I found out about this sorority because their table was actually next to mine at an organization fair, believe it or not. They kept saying, oh hey, do you want to join our sorority? We talk about religion and we try to talk about why we're here and all of that stuff. And they kept saying it over and over to the people walking by. And I was sitting there at my table saying, hey, do you want to learn how to meditate? <laughs> because at the time I was the treasurer of Iron Tree Blooming, which happens to be our Buddhist meditation club. It's really great. We get to sit once a week for like 10, 20 minutes and then talk about a passage that's like, that is either Buddhist or focuses on mindfulness. I love it a lot. I miss that a lot too. That was also fun. And they kept saying it over and over and it was just sitting here like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I kind of do. <laughs> so I turned to them and said, hey, I've been listening to you for like the past hour asking people if they wanted to join and I think I'm interested. <laughs> and one of the things I really like about my sorority is we don't cut people. Because you get those really big sororities like Tri-Sig or Tri-Delta or whatever the hell and they're just like, we have this application process and you have to make it through certain stages before you can join the sorority and that just makes me go, uh... Yeah, I don't do well in popularity contests. <laughs> well, it's not. So, they were just like, if you're interested, you're in. So, no pressure. And so I went to the interest meetings. They seemed to all to be great. And I joined their sorority. And that's how I wound up being a sorority girl. I look like a stereotype. <laughs> The blonde sorority girl. <laughs> Except my wardrobe does not match that. Praise God. Because I don't think I could pull it off. <laughs> but yeah, that is how and why I joined a sorority. You didn't think that there was going to be anything tying anything together. No, I kind of planned this. Love it. I'm still doing this spontaneously. But you know what? I had a the theme. I ran with it. And it's all good. I hope you all enjoyed. I hope you're having a good day, night, whatever, wherever you are. And I will see you tomorrow. Au revoir. Bye, everybody.